In this video I want to show you how to make use of templates. We will start by creating a blank host and add items. Next we will make a clone of that host. You will see that copying entities like items or triggers does not work well with many hosts. So I will show you a better way to handle that by using templates. Let's start with a blank host. I'm going to configuration hosts. I click on create host. Entering the host name, assigning the group Linux servers, and setting the IP address. I click on save, and the host is created. Now let's add an item. I click on items, create item, and I would like to monitor the free disk space on the root partition. The key to this is VFS. Dot fs dot size of slash comma free. The units are bytes, and I'm inventing a new application called disk as a group for this item. And I save the item. So now I have an item monitoring the root partition. Let's also add a trigger that fires if there is less than two gigabytes of free space on the root partition. I'm going to triggers. I'm creating a new trigger giving it the name little space left on root. As an expression, I'm selecting the item of free disk space on root. And I want to get an error if the last value is less than two gigabytes. Let's insert it. So this is the expression that Zabbix calculated, and I'm assigning this trigger a severity of warning. And I'm saving it. Going back to the host list, we can now see that we have created a new host with one item and one trigger. Say that we want to have a second host with the same item and trigger. One way to accomplish that is to edit the host itself and click on Full Clone. The difference between Clone and Full Clone is that Clone only clones linked templates, while Full Clone even copies directly attached entities like items or triggers. So I'm using Full Clone to make a copy of the host. I'm changing the host name and the IP address. Further down on the page, you can see the applications, the item and the trigger that was just cloned. I'm clicking on save. And you can see that we now have two hosts with one item and one trigger each. Say that I also want to add another item to the host. So I click on the one host, and I create a further item. This time I would like to monitor the number of processes. The key to that is proct.num. And the application is processes. I'm saving that. Going back to the host list. And you can see that the one host has two items assigned, while the other just has one, because the number of processes monitoring just happens on the one host. So one way to copy the item to the other host is going to the items view, selecting the item, and choosing copy selected to, choosing the right group, and selecting the target host. So using this way, I can copy items from one host to another. Let's also say that I made a mistake when defining the trigger. Instead of 2 GB, I rather want to set 5 GB because I learned that 2 GB is too low. So I'm changing that. But of course, I have to change the trigger on the other host too. Because these two triggers are working independently. As you probably see, this way of working with items is pretty tedious. The better way is to use templates. So let's go and create a new template and move the items there. Go to Configuration Templates and click on Create Template in the upper right corner. Templates by convention always start with template underscore, so we name it template test. The group is templates, also by convention, and I'm also linking the two hosts to this template already. I click on Save, and when I go back to Configuration and Hosts, in the Templates column you see 
that the two hosts have the template underscore test assigned already. When you take a look at the items, you see that the items are still linked to the one host. So let's take these two items, select copy selected to, choose the templates group, and select the template test that we just created. Now, when I click on copy, these two items get moved to the template test. Instead of just showing the name of the item, you see the name of the template in front. This means that the item is not directly linked to the host, but rather coming from a template. When you click on the item, you can see that many of the fields are grayed out. That means that this information is coming from the template. You cannot change it unless you change the template itself. So when you go back and click on the template name, then you get access to the actual items. That concludes this introduction about templates. You saw that cloning hosts will lead to a lot of repetition when dealing with items and triggers. That's why it's strongly recommended to put all the items into templates and link those templates to your hosts.